in the last video, I um, showed some strategies on how to do the ACT science reasoning. And in this video, I am going to do some problems. I just want to say that I'm not going to go quite as fast as you normally would want to go. I'm going to go slowly and explain it, but you would want to go faster. This is from the 2014 and 15 Form 67C test. It's passage 3, and you can find this online. So let's start the test. So the first strategy is go straight to the questions. Don't read any of this. So let's go to. So let's do the question. Percent of the Earth's surface surface covered by high clouds in January 1987 was closest to which of the following? They have 13, 14, 13, point, 13, 13 point 5, 14, and 14 point 5 percent. So let's go to the question. So this chart right here is low clouds. This one's middle clouds. So I'm hoping the one at the bottom is high clouds. Let me go see. Yep, it is. It's January 1987. So we're going to go 1985, 86, 87. Month 3 average cover of clouds is the dotted line. And we want that. So, and that looks to be right about 13.5. So let's go back to the questions. 13.5 is B, and that is the correct answer. Let's go to the next question. 14. Based on Table 1, so we're going to go to Table 1, the cosmic, a cosmic ray flux of 44,000, wait, 440,000 particles per meter squared per hour would correspond to a cover of low clouds that is closest to which of the following percent? They have 28.7, 29, 29.3, and 29.6. Let's go to table one. Table one. They have it only going to 4,200, so we're going to have to make an estimate here. And it looks like we're going up 20,000 from the last one. So every time we go up 20,000, it looks like it goes up about 0.3. So 20,000 from 28,000 to 29,000, it's 0.3, 0.3. Point three, point three. So we're guessing that it's going to be point three. So we are going to say it's going to be twenty nine thousand point three. The answer would be H, and that is correct. Let me move my thing. Question fifteen. The statement: the monthly average cover of um. The monthly average cover of low cloud is more directly co correlated with the cosmic ray flux than is the monthly average of high clouds is, is consistent with figure 1 and 3. So what they're saying is, is the um, cover of low clouds more consistent with the cosmic ray flux or is the co cover of high clouds more consistent with the cosmic ray flux? So let's see. Relative, let's look at what cosmic ray flux is. Relative cosmic ray flux or RCF RF it looks like is what cosmic ray flux is and we're going to look for low clouds um, or high clouds so obviously the low clouds is there I mean yeah low clouds is very similar pretty much the same line while the high clouds is almost opposite so I'm going to say the low clouds is And it says the monthly average cover of low clouds is more directly correlated with cosmic ray flux. And so that would be correct. The statement's correct. So we can already rule out C and D. Let's see, A. Because the plot for the monthly average cover of low clouds more closely parallels the plot? Yes. So the correct answer is A. And V's wrong. It says more closely parallels the high clouds, which is wrong. So. Be strong. Question number 16. Which of the following figures best represents the monthly average of average cover of high, middle, and low clouds in 1992? So, I am thinking that the, okay, so they have middle clouds is in the middle. It goes from high clouds to low clouds, low clouds to high clouds, 
and I think that middle cloud is in the middle again. So we're going to go look. So we're going to look at 1992. So let's move this down. So high clouds, 1992, and it is about. Oops. 13.0 about, we're going to say. Or maybe between 13.0 and 13.5. Middle clouds, 1992, is between 20 and 20.5. And high clouds, 1991, 2, is between 20, um, 28 and 28.5. So the answer is. So we want the high clouds to have the lowest cover, and the low clouds to have the highest, I mean the, yeah. So the answer is G, and that is correct. Problem 17, this is the last one we're doing. And it is, high clouds are composed primarily of ice crystals, whereas low clouds are composed primarily of water droplets. The difference is most likely because the air temperature at altitudes from they have zero kilometers to three point two kilometers um and it's above or below I think zero degrees Celsius. So I'm finding that here it says the Earth's cover of low clouds zero kilometers to three point two kilometers. So that means the low kilometers are at zero the low clouds are at zero kilometers to three point two kilometers. And then over here it says high clouds, 6 to 16 kilometers. So, let's go to the next, to the questions. Okay, so, air temperatures at 0 kilometers to 3 point, let me get my pointer. 0 kilometers to 3.2 kilometers is at or below. No, it's going to be above there. That's why it's water. And here it is again below. So A and B we can already rule out. C. Is a, a C is looking pretty good. It's above zero degrees Celsius so far. Average temperatures at altitudes 3.2 to 6.0. No, that's the that's the middle clouds. This, this thing said high clouds and low clouds. So that's wrong. And we can already guess it's D, but let's read it. The temperature from 0 0.2 to 3.2 is above 0 degrees, 6 to 16 is below. That's correct. So that's how to use the strategies on ACT science reasoning. Thanks for watching.